Welcome to Section 2 of Module 5 of Data Operations, the PACE IT program. In Section 2 of Module 5, the two main learning competencies we'll focus on will be describing data management activities involved with managing data and database operations, and recognizing key SQL commands you would need to script in order to populate those databases. We'll talk about basic definitions and key concepts, a couple of core principles and guideline activities, areas of study, which would be questions you'd be expected to be able to answer, and primary takeaways from Section 2 of Module 5. The basic definitions and key concepts we'll cover in Section 2 of Module 5 will be understanding data technology requirements as well as defining the data technology architecture for a given organization or a program or a project. Data technology evaluation and implementation once you've selected a particular data technology. Um, understanding technology licensing issues. How to track those and make sure you have an accurate inventory of your licenses issued to users and installed licenses on machines in your program. And then we'll talk about some structured query language, basics, data definition, where we create objects and uh, delete them, data manipulation, where we query them, data access and control, where we allow users to um, either allow them or deny them access to those objects, and then our data dictionary, which usually consists of system tables. Our core principles and guideline activities include visualizing database technology as an enabler of business processes, very important that we stay connected with why we're doing this uh, to support the business. And in using the business information requirements as a basis for your technology decisions and activities. It's all about adding value. The Section 2, Module 5 areas of study would lead us to be able to answer these following questions. What are the different types of data technology platforms? What are three types of data technology evaluation criteria? Why do you need to track data technology licensure? What are the steps in scripting a database install? What is the SQL command to put a user into a role in the database? Our primary takeaways for Section 2 of Module 5 revolve around database administration activities, including understanding our data technology requirements, defining a data technology architecture tailored to those requirements, being able to evaluate data technology in light of the architecture, installing and administering the selected data technology from our evaluation, inventorying and tracking data technology licenses, supporting general data technology usage and issues, and then SQL considerations for defining data objects, manipulating them that would be creating, updating, deleting, and reading database rows, and then access and management, allowing and denying users access based on the requirements. And finally, just the management using the system tables to be able to quickly perform maintenance activities.